Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be looking at how to add a site contributor to your website. So if you ever need help managing your site, you can invite people to collaborate and assign them permissions according to their specific role. So whether you're inviting a website designer, billing manager, marketing manager, etc, Wix has a variety of roles to help you get started. So today I'll be running through how to add a website designer to this website here listed and called tutorial website. So first of all, you're going to want to head to your site dashboard. For those of you that only have one website, Wix will open directly into your site dashboard. But for those of you that have multiple websites, your screen may look similar to this. So to get to my site dashboard, I'm going to click select site. Alright, so when you get here, you're going to notice a little button down in the left corner here called Quick Access. So what we're going to do is we're going to hover over it and you'll notice a variety of different options pop up. But for today's tutorial, we're going to be clicking Invite People. Great, so when we get here, we're going to then click the Invite People button, which will then trigger this pop up. So this pop-up asks you whether you'd like to add this person to all of your sites or just a current one. So here we're going to click yes continue because we only want them to be added to this website. Great, so first thing we need to do is add their email up the top here. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that now. Right, and since we currently don't have them already added to the website, Wix is asking if we want to create a new contact. And yes, we are. So we're going to click this button here. Right, so now as we look down the page, you'll see Wix has created numerous roles which provides a person with their required permissions. While you can create custom roles by clicking manage roles here, I'd suggest sticking with the standard roles. So now I'm going to select Website Designer, which is right here, and then click Send Invite. Here, Wix just wants to know a bit more about this invite, and since this person is a freelancer, I'm going to select this button and click Done. All right, so now we can see the confirmation message up the top here. So I'm going to head to that person's inbox to show you what it would look like. So here, we're just gonna wait for the email to come through it should only take a few minutes. Great, so the email's just popped through now, so we're going to click on this. And all that person needs to do now is click Accept Invite and they're on your website. So it's also important to note that only one person can be editing your website at a time. So ensure you save your website before the other person begins to edit your site. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the content and feel free to let me know down below if there's any topics you'd like to see me cover. Oh,